Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Is anybody there? Can you guys Let's see us? Like, Let's just give it a couple of seconds. First. Yeah. Okay, we have someone joining in. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Good evening. Good to see so many people joining in. Why don't you guys give us a cheer? Why don't you give us, give us a hi? Hey, hello. Hey, Donald. Hi, Donald. Get, get chatting, brothers and sisters. Let's see where you guys are joining us from. Hey, hi, Raju. Hi, Raju. Whoa. Hi Priya Mary. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Good to see all of you. Hey Kevin. Hello, hello. Let's Welcome. <laughs> Who right. else is here? Where are you? Where are, where are all of you joining us from? If you guys don't mind, is there anyone joining us from Bangalore, from Chennai, uh, uh, from Mangalore, Hyderabad? Where are you all joining us from? Hello, hello. We're just going to wait for a we few just... more viewers to join us before we begin. Yes, yes. And if you uh, and if you can, brothers and sisters, I suggest uh, share this uh, live link right now with your friends group, with your friends group. I'm sure all of you must be having hundreds. All of you must be influencers in your own right. So please go ahead and share this link. Uh, so that we have more people joining us and uh, we have a great time tonight. Hello, Benny. Hey, Denver. Hi, Pritam. Vinod Bookmans. Good evening. Good evening. Good to see excitement on the group. Good to see excitement in the chat. We'll just wait for a minute or two uh, before we can get started. In the meanwhile, why don't you let us know how did you spend your Saturday? I hope you guys had a fine one. We had a fine one and uh, I'm sure it's going to be a great and an even better Saturday evening. Hello, Mapile. <laughs> oh, that's to Kevin. <laughs> I thought it was to me. <laughs> okay. All right, brothers and sisters. Don't forget, don't forget to send this invite to invite more of your brothers and sisters to join in your friends. Um, you know, your colleagues, uh, your family, whoever it is. <laughs> Hi, Vinod. <laughs> good, to, good to hear from you guys. Hey, we have people from Dubai, all the way from Dubai. Okay, Falak. <laughs> Salam Alaikum. All right, wonderful, wonderful to have all of you here this evening. We'll just give it a few more minutes before, before we, begin. we begin. Yeah, yeah. Just waiting for more people to come in and then we can get right into the thick of things. We have a very exciting evening. Uh, we have some amazing stories to hear. Uh, stories of hope, stories uh, of uh, transformation and it's going to be an awesome time. Hey Rufus. Hey Joseph. All right. Okay, I think we will go ahead and get started and uh, hopefully as more people join in, uh, we we'll, we'll have just gotten started with our uh, yeah, they talk show. Catch up. Yeah. All right, so brothers and sisters, good very evening. good evening and welcome everyone to the Bangalore MFC Facebook page, Missionary Families of Christ, if I must say, and uh, welcome to the premiere of our much anticipated talk show, Off the Record. Off the Record. Hmm. So, mm -hmm. so Daniel, what is Off the Record all about? Why don't we, you know, before we talk about what's Off the Record, go on the record and introduce ourselves sure sure why not yes for all of you brothers and sisters who are just joining us and who've been who are new to this page who are new to all of this uh, my name is brandon steven miranda and uh, this is my wife we've been married for three and a half years and we are based out of bangalore and her name is danya uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, thank you all for joining us once again and uh, just to give you a little background we are going to be a host for this uh, talk show that we are uh, uh, premiering today. It's mm -hmm. called Off the Record. Uh, and a little bit 
uh, about the show that we're going to have. Well, uh, you know, brothers and sisters, it's going to be like I said, it's a talk show. It's going to be a conversation. Uh, we are going to invite uh, married couples, just like ourselves, uh, to talk about their lives. You know, how their lives have been, what are their struggles, uh, how they've been o- able to overcome their struggles, how they're able to deal with problems of uh, life within their marriages, uh, how they've been able to be transformed. And uh, let me assure you, uh, these stories that you're going to hear over the next couple of days are going to be truly inspirational. And I pray that as all of you attend, you find inspiration and you find hope uh, for change in your lives and in your marriages. Right. All right. So for our first guest on the talk show off the record, we have already seen that they've joined, but we'd like to give them a give a small introduction about them. So who is he and who is she? Well, some of you may have seen the poster, mm-hmm. but you know what, brothers and sisters, what do I tell you about this guy? You know, this this guy, he is the husband. He is from the land of the Talaiwa. And she, she is from the city that never sleeps. Why don't you go and uh, put down your, put on in the chat. What cities are we talking about? Where is Talaiwa from and which is a city that never sleeps? Yeah. Where do you guys think they're from? A married couple. Interesting, interesting backgrounds they're coming from, right? One is coming from the land of Talaiwa. And the other one is coming from the land of... The land that never sleeps. The city that never sleeps. So where do you think they're joining us from? Go ahead and enter it into the chat before we call them. Chennai! Chennai, yes. Chennai. Praise God. Yeah, you got it right. He is from Chennai and Kevin, you are absolutely right. The second city is Mumbai. That's what we call. That's where she is from. A uh, little bit more about them. Uh, you know what? Why don't we introduce them? Oh, Byron is saying CSK versus Mumbai Indians. <laughs> this is not a competition. This is a partnership that is going to last forever. So praise for God for that. And um, you know what? Why don't we do something? Let's call them on. Yeah. And let's have them introduce themselves to all sure. of us. Just give us a minute. All right. Hopefully they. Yes. Hey. Hey. Hello. Hey, Aldo hey guys. Aldo Welcome, you Aldo and Raina. How, How are you guys doing? We're good. We're doing How good. Are you? We're doing good. How are you guys? Good, 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 bro. Good. How's the little one doing? All okay? Yeah, yeah, she's. I think it's a superb yeah. introduction. CSK was. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Praise God. All right. So, uh. We didn't introduce you fully, so why don't you go ahead and uh, for those of them who don't know you uh, from the audience, why don't you introduce yourself? So, hi everyone. Um, my name is Aldo and this is my wife, Raina. And we have been married for uh, three and a half years. And um, um, it's, a, it's a love marriage. Um, and we have an eight-month-old daughter named Athalia. Yeah. And... Um, uh, since, as I told, this is a love marriage. Uh, mm. So he's from Chennai. I'm from Mumbai. Bombay. And that's about us. Yeah. Where did you guys meet? So we uh, we met in a uh, <laughs> we were a part of a charismatic uh, youth group. So we met each other in a leadership training program. We met in Goa. Yeah. And oh, we nice, married nice, in Mumbai. Nice. <laughs> we settled in Bangalore. <laughs> Okay. All okay. Over the <laughs> we have a very similar. We have a very similar story. So even as the love marriage, I'm from Mangalore. Uh, I'm from Kerala. We also have a two-state uh, relationship, and uh, we're also settled in Bangalore. <laughs> and and interestingly, we also met at a leadership training program. It's called MBA in <laughs> Chennai. <laughs> so uh, so praise God, praise God. All right. All right. Without any further delay. Um, you are our first guest on this talk show off the record. So Aldo and Raina. What is your story? Okay, so Aldo already shared that, uh, you know, we already shared that he's from Chennai and from Mumbai. So uh, we had a love marriage and uh, we had our wedding in Mumbai and then we had two receptions, one in Mumbai, one in Chennai. And then we had an engagement before that in Chennai. And so a lot of expenses for the wedding and uh, very excited. He wanted to please both the families. He wanted to please me and all of that sort. So we ended up spending a lot. Uh, both of us and then uh, post wedding uh, we had a uh, you know luxurious living we just had uh, just swiping the cards uh, on uh, you know movies together and uh, 
dinner dates and roaming around traveling because it was a long distance relationship so once we met together we wanted to spend time together and you know just uh, hog and enjoy and until one fine day uh, aldo threw a bomb of the amount of debts that he has <laughs> and that's when the challenges began in our marriage all right all right very very interesting very interesting um yeah, i mean i i completely understand you know when you i think we got married around the same time 2018 jan. and uh, jan in fact yeah and uh, yeah i mean those are the days right those are the best days uh, of the marriage when the romance is at its peak so yeah we too enjoyed ourselves but you know what aldo like tell us tell us about uh, uh, what you were going through like what was the problem and uh, uh, you know what happened between the two of you with regards to yeah uh, the bomb so as uh, raina said uh since it was two states uh and then uh, two culture um there was a lot of expenses that uh, we had to go through and uh, we went out of a pocket and then we started spending more um wherein uh, i didn't want to disappoint her actually so i just went ahead whatever she asked for whatever we were doing so it was like um totally out of control so and then also i i was thinking that i was expecting for a good appraisal um from my company so i thought uh, it's okay we will manage that was my plan so but uh, eventually god had another plan so that particular year um i didn't have a good appraisal as i was assuming um and then things went on um uh, uh bad because i had to pay the bills right so and uh, bills started coming and then there was a home loan that we we had taken a house before a wedding so uh, we were also paying home loans at that time so it was becoming tight so we weren't able to i was in, i was in able to manage so um, and she was also not working at that time because she had to move from bombay to bangalore and she was looking out for a job so that's where i was totally down and i didn't know what to do and i was really upset so one day um, i just broke down and then i opened up this bomb and uh, it it was a shock for her, her as well to accept uh, because she didn't expect it from me because um, all she knew is about the home loan and some a uh, few uh, other expenses that occurred that's all she knew about but this was a, a real shock for her wow okay okay so 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 if i so if i can just summarize i think uh, uh and correct me if i'm wrong aldo raina i i mean you could say that uh, uh there was some element of uh, miscommunication or lack of transparency especially with regards to maybe finance right and uh, i actually okay. i did uh, i did all the things that i did uh, i didn't tell her about the finance part where, which i was yeah. really struggling so, with so so raina here is this person who you thought was sharing everything to you and uh, suddenly reality struck and uh, you realize that maybe that's not all true uh, so how did you uh, encounter this how did you uh, deal with this were you trying to be understanding or how did it go so when he told me about it i was really shocked i was disappointed i was angry because i thought we both uh, had a equation where we both shared everything of our lives together and i was really disappointed that he did not share this aspect and he struggled all alone and uh, yeah i was very angry i was really upset for a long time with him because um, i thought he could have been transparent with me we could have dealt it together um, you know, yeah. and then i started arguing with him for every uh, small thing because i couldn't trust him with finance uh, i i blamed him that he did not manage things well so you know every aspect i started uh, finding faults in him and that's when he also stopped having confidence in himself and uh, i was not able to forgive him and that's when the two to mema started between us and it was difficult mm-hmm. time for us and i realized mm-hmm. uh, we were struggling in our marriage and we required help he, i required uh, mm-hmm. f- uh, inner healing with forgiving him and he required to restore his confidence but we did not have a means that would you know help us we know that the lord would uh, surely heal us but we were not open enough for that healing Okay. So that okay. was that was what I felt mm-hmm. at the moment. Mm-hmm. So so Aldo, you know what? If if I may ask, uh, so you know you brought the problem finally out of your uh, after after your breaking point, you brought the problem to Raina, and you know 
in, instead of getting help you know you you didn't get you didn't get what you were probably seeking so how how were you feeling like did you try to i mean now you had to pacify her i think right like because she was also upset on top of the debts you were having so what were you going through uh, bro if you don't mind it, it was actually so difficult uh, at that time because um, pacifying her uh, at that time because um, our relationship was built in trust uh, and love so this one point of trust where it breaks you now it's like it's quite difficult so i did understand and she was in pain and i tried my best but mm. I, i i did not find the right path to convince her or to get her trust back so i was desperately in need of some help at that time um praying god that please tell me a way to pacify her or to convince her um I, it is a mistake that i i hid it from her so that was that was what was going on and it was really difficult because when it comes to finance talking to her face to face though you talk to her face to face if if you know that there's no trust in what you're speaking then it's of uh, no use so it was a difficult time yeah yeah, yeah. that must have been very difficult for both of you so we're guessing that both of you were not talking to each other what must have been very difficult to even have a proper conversation so what was your turning point eventually how did you uh, you know how did things get better so and i think uh, he spoke to me about it in june 2018 and uh, we were struggling for two months and august 2018 i read a whatsapp status of a friend about a retreat conducted by um, mfc uh, so it was a couples retreat and i really wanted our marriage to work i didn't want this to prolong though i was prolonging it but i didn't want to it so so i wanted one breakthrough and uh, this retreat i saw and i just to hello let's go and uh, both mm-hmm. of us we went for this retreat and uh, during the confessions i lot i got a lot of grace uh, to let go of this area to forgive him and to you know start have a new beginning with that with the truth and uh, i also like the sharing session that we have during the retreats because yeah. it also uh, you know uh, opens up about uh, ourselves we can examine where do we stand during the sessions uh, sharing sessions and uh, also the other sisters and brothers what struggles they go through somewhere i felt you know okay i am still in a better position i i am still able to uh, you know uh, other sisters are s- struggling much more than what i go through and mine is a smaller thing so why not let go so yeah it gave me a lot of grace uh, to forgive and to have a new beginning uh, and you know to bu- start building the uh, trust with aldo so that was okay. a turning point attending this retreat uh-huh. okay yeah so so the retreat i think that you guys i think we attended the same we were together yeah. we were, we were we attended, attended the same retreat uh, <laughs> the christian life seminar in august 2018 i yes. remember you guys yeah uh, and and uh, aldo if you don't mind like how was it Uh, what was your experience uh, you know attending the uh, cls yeah I, it was actually good uh, like as i told you i was really in need of help uh, looking out for help so participating in that cls was so helpful for me because there were brothers and brothers who were actually sharing what happened in their life as well so it's not just giving you advice or from the books it's like the life that they went through okay like how they got through troubles and then how they came out of it so it it was so helpful for me and encouraging for me because that was the place where i felt oh thank you lord uh, i found a way to convince my wife now at least finally so i was actually uh, in need of peace okay uh, because we were like totally uh, uh, going through a tough time i so. think we were not able to even look at each other's eyes there was so much of disturbance between us <laughs> and that day after a confession after the prayer session teaching everything then uh, we got hope like yes we can do this together and uh, that's 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 how we uh, got into cls and then it was so helpful for us awesome awesome i can actually totally relate to what you guys are saying because you know from the household share, the, the the group sharings that we had there were elders in the group who were sharing their yeah. experiences and today when we look back uh the way we deal with some of our problems is based off what they have taught us yeah, uh, yeah. that's amazing so uh it's been 3 years now since the cls since that retreat uh, uh we're guessing you still have uh, the same problems but how are you dealing with it differently today and um 
how is the financial situation today? So after we joined the retreat, we finished the CLS, we were put in a household. Um, so a household servant called us for a one-on-one -on -one session. And that's when we opened up about this issue. And uh, they told us very uh, nicely that, you know, uh, see, I had a concept, you know, all of us maybe would have grown up who are earning that, you know, it's my money, his, his money, or it's his debt, and he has to repay it. So uh, they told me very nicely, uh, they told both of us that it's not uh, Aldo's income or, you know, Raina, it's your income. It's a group income. It's a collective income. So it should be, uh, or it's not his debt now, it's or your debt. You're, you guys are one, so it's your it's it's a collective debt and both have you guys have to work towards repaying it or you know whatever is your income you both have to sit together and plan your income and plan your finances and that was an enlightening time and you know from there on uh, every month we sit together we budget our finances um, be it our savings be it repaying our debts or you know be it um, uh, spending uh, we do it together. I mean, there's so much we can proudly say, you know, we are transparent now in every aspect, even finances, we are transparent with each other, wherever we spend. So that is the, you know, that that is the one thing that really uh, enhanced uh, our situation. And, you know, we were out of our, we were out of most of our debts. Praise God, praise God for that uh, wonderful thing. Honestly, you know, if I, if I may also add to that, you know, uh, being part of a community where you have elder brothers and sisters, married couples, uh, giving you advice. I mean, it's, it's like, it's like, uh, uh gold, you know, and, uh, yeah. I think the book of Proverbs also says, you know, the advice of a wiser person is, is like a fine ornament gold for you. Right. Uh, it has also helped us, you know, having a one-on-one -on -one with our elders. Uh, and you know what brothers and sisters for all of you who are joining, who don't know, uh, what the CLS is, what all these terms are that we're using. Uh, I want to offer you this chance, brothers and sisters, you know, uh, MFC Missionary Families of Christ Bangalore is once again conducting a Christian Life Seminar. It's a CLS. Uh, we're conducting again, once again, in the month of August, August 2021. It starts on uh, 22nd uh, August. And uh, I'm sure you'll find the registration link uh, here in the chat in a bit. If you need more details about uh, the CLS as well, uh, you can scroll through our MFC uh, MFC Bangalore Facebook page and you'll find more details about our CLS and you can always sign up. Uh, brothers and sisters, you know, uh, like Aldo Raina said, it was uh, the CLS was a start in transformation to their marriages. So if you're looking for that same inspiration, if you're looking for that hope and transformation, uh, do go ahead and sign up. Uh, Aldo Raina, before we, uh, before we come to an end, you know, if you had to offer up something, uh, offer a suggestion or offer you know, what people can expect from the CLS, you know, what would it be? What do you think people can expect from uh, the upcoming CLS? So, yeah, so married couples, if, if you have a thought, why did I get married to this man? Why did I get married to this woman? Um, just don't hesitate to go ahead and register for CLS because the true purpose Christ uh, got both of you in marriage, you'll come to know um, after attending the CLS. So I would definitely advise and uh, request people to just go ahead, register to the CLS and uh, know the purpose of your life, of your marriage. Praise God, praise God. Thank you so much, Aldo Raina. Yes, brothers and sisters, uh, the Christian Life Seminar that we are conducting is uh, a wonderful thing for the husband, for the wife, for the entire family. Uh, to grow in a deeper relationship with one another, deeper love of one another, and also, uh, like Aldo Rana said, into a deeper relationship with God. Uh, the name of the CLS is called God My Rock. Uh, I think the registration link was just shared in the chat. Once again, reiterating, God My Rock, 22nd August. Uh, it's a six-week uh, retreat, so don't miss this opportunity, brothers and sisters, to experience God and to be transformed just like he's transformed. Aldo Raina, just like he's transformed us and the many people of Missionary Families of Christ. Thank you so much, uh, you, Aldo Raina, for joining us today. Thank you for opening your lives and being honest uh, with the struggles that you had and the life that you're leading today. Thank you so much for inspiring all of us. And brothers and sisters, we hope to see you guys tomorrow with more of your friends joining us to be inspired by the lovely stories and the inspiring stories that the couples of Missionary Families of Christ brings to you. Thank you, Thank Brandon. You. Thank Thank you so much. Thanks, Thank everyone, for watching. Thank you so much. Thank this you is Brandon so much. Tanya signing out. See you guys tomorrow. Have a blessed Bye. Sunday, brothers and sisters. God bless all of you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Bye-bye. Thank you.